Splat Brawlers are one of the most unique weapon types out there. They aren't played very often, but this is a good thing. The average Splatoon player does not have very much experience dealing with Brellas as much as other weapons, so it gives Brella players a huge advantage on that front. The Brella has two main mechanics, its shot and its shield. The Brella functions as a shotgun. Each shot is made up of six smaller bullets that can deal between 12 and 18 damage. The maximum any one shot can do is 90, but this rarely happens in a game. Usually it's going to take about 3 to 4 shots to kill. While the Brella has some decent range, operating at max range is far from ideal. Most weapons operate best at their maximum range, but not the Brella. In order to make sure all bullets hit, it's necessary to play at basically point blank range. The closer you can be, the better. Playing up close and personal can be dangerous, but luckily the Brella has something to help with this. A shield. If one holds down the fire button, the shield will pop up. It's impossible to shoot in this mode, but the shield blocks all incoming shots. The Brella shield has a health of 500, but several weapons do increase damage against it. However, these weapons typically fire very slowly, so most weapons will take out your shield in about the same amount of time. The Brella shield deals 30 damage if it comes into contact with an opponent. One of the best ways to get a kill is to get a near direct shot and then follow up with a shield bash. Due to their shield, Brellas can be insanely effective counters to any weapon that requires charging. Weapons that fight up close and focus on strafing around are insanely difficult to block against, and blasters are often able to hit around the Brella shield, rendering it completely useless. Brellas are weapons that require strategic thinking. Every battle needs to be carefully thought out, be sure to utilize the strengths of the Brella and the weaknesses of your opponent to come out on top. If held open for 2 seconds, the shield will detach from the main gun, traveling forward at a decent pace. There are some really cool tricks that can be pulled off with this, like following behind the shield, using it to distract enemies, etc. But the shield has a really low health that a lot of these can be really difficult to pull off, so I won't recommend playing around with it too much. It also takes 30% of the ink tank to launch, so make sure that you keep an eye on that ink gauge if you plan on launching it. Brellas are excellent painters with excellent mobility. The sprinkler only contributes to this. Sprinklers are excellent at painting where its user isn't. And with how much the Brella moves around, sprinklers are an extremely effective sub-weapon. While they aren't of much direct use in combat, they can provide an important distraction. When engaging an opponent, throw a sprinkler nearby. This will distract the opponent, give the player more map control, and potentially get in some chip damage. Sprinklers by themselves are not very likely to kill, but when used in conjunction with careful planning, they can still be effective in combat. The Ink Storm is a great complement to the Brella. It deals damage over time to any enemy inside its area. This is perfect for the Brella, not only because the Brella has low damage per shot, but because of how lengthy engagements with the Brella can be. The Brella has a very slow kill time. The Ink Storm puts its user in an advantageous position, giving the opponent a set amount of time to fight before they die or have to run away. It does require 200 points to get it special, but the Brella is a great painter and when combined with the Sprinkler, it doesn't take too long to get the Ink Storm. Special Power Up increases the throwing range and duration of the Ink Storm, and honestly I don't find this very useful for the Brella. It's better to keep the Storm close to you so that you can fight from inside. Run Speed, however, is perfect for the Brella. The Brella can spend a lot of time running and strafing around opponents, so Run Speed is always helpful. The Brella doesn't have much time in combat to recharge any ink, so I can't recommend Ink Saver Main enough. It's always going to take multiple shots to kill, and the Brella Shield can be very ink hungry, so you'll never regret having some Ink Saver Main. Lastly, I would recommend Special Charge Up to get more Ink Storms per match because that 200 point ceiling can be very high at times. Hey everybody, it's Baderfish back with some more Splatoon 2. Today's weapon of the day is the Splat Brella. Uh, for equipment, I'm going with some Ink Saver Main and then some Ink Saver Sub because I run out of ink a lot. I'm also going with some Ink Resist Up because I find myself getting trapped in ink a lot of the time while strafing around. And then also Special Charge Up uh, to deal with that 200 point limit. And then some Run Speed because overall that's just a nice ability to have on a mobile weapon like the... Like the Splat Brella. Which is the gun we're playing today. Yeah. Uh, I'm feeling daring, so we're gonna jump into some Splat Zones. Anchovy V Games. I didn't really look at the stages before jumping into this, and you know, I don't think that this will be the worst one to go with. Uh, so tip, for any weapon running a sprinkler, just throw them willy-nilly all the time, and you'll get your special just so much faster, and it also just helps to get some more ink down. I really like the sprinkler on Splat Zones. Um, I mean, if I could have thrown one there. Can we? Yeah, look, I got him. Okay. One thing I love about the Barella shield is that it can completely block splashdown. That's an excellent counter to those. 
Especially because I have a very difficult time dealing dealing with splashdowns. Um, let's see, there's a fella coming right over here. Um, yeah, let's push a little bit into their base. Seems like a good idea. Someone is going around that way. I'm going to continue to hold down the fort right here. Heck yeah, that's how you do it to them. Oh boy, that's... I'm the last one alive. Uh, this is fine. Dang it. Okay, hopefully... Ah, uh, team, you're gonna have to get in there and start to carry this. Okay, so right now... I really don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, sh shoot, they really all just died like that. Oh, he's gonna try to... Get all up in here. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, I did not realize that the charger on their team is a GooTuber. I feel a little bit safer knowing that, but I mean, also, I'm in ranked, and anyone playing a GooTuber in ranked probably knows what they're doing. But that's just me who thinks that. Okay, good. We do have control. Gonna want to get some of that map control. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I was scared he was gonna get in there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love, I love the Brella. It's so dang fun. And I've been playing it a lot recently and it's rapidly, this is a big mistake. Okay, you can get him. I'm pretty sure I had my Brella shield up there, but whatever. We're in the lead. I'm kind of stressed out. Okay, we're fine. They don't have control. I would like to get my special up soon. Dang it, they had me pinned. Dealing with multiple people with the Brella is always difficult because then one person can fight you while you have your shield up and then the other person just slaughters you from behind. Um, this is not a excellent situation. Yeah, I think that's the game. I thought that was gonna go a lot better after the beginning, but mm, I don't feel like I performed horribly. But oh, wow. I mean, I did at the end. Okay. I don't know. None of us did terribly. I think it was just a matter of timing. Oh. Ouch. I was not expecting to get that third crack. All right. Well, next match. Anchovy games again. Who? I don't even know what the other stage is. Okay, that's kind of some interesting weapons we got here. A lot of longer range fellas, or long and mid range. I I don't know the classification. I don't even know if anyone actually knows. Okay, this time I saved my sprinkler to use a few. I thought that was not the 96 guy. I don't know what I thought it was, but wow. That, I always forget how fast that thing kills. Yikes. Um, I would like to get my... What's it called? Rain. Inkstorm. Haha, I remember the terminology. I'd like to get that up. Yikes. Can that shield? That? I don't know. There we go. Gotta do that double team. Okay, I don't know what I'm throwing that out for, but it certainly can't hurt. Okay. Yikes. Wow, I got him. Look at me. I'm being a 
Proficient player. Um, we're just gonna die. Okay. Although I think that's gonna have to be my goal here, since I'm definitely the shortest up close fella here. So we'll see how that goes. Although, what I mean, I'm naturally not a aggressive up close player, and one tip I have for the Brella is to play aggressive and up close. Um, you know, most weapons you want to fight at their maximum range. Brella is better the closer you get to everybody. Oh shoot, they are taking the lead. That's not good. Wow, not bad, Slasher. Oh shoot, wow. Okay, we just wiped. That's not good. That is not good at all. No, back off. Yikes. Yeah, I don't think this is going too well. Really, we just gotta jump in and go for it, but I don't know if that's happening. Alright. Uh, Alright. Hmm. That was not too good. You know, I'd like to win one of these matches for once. <laughs> I'd really like to just win. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we did too good. Oh, there was a disconnect. Interesting. Ooh, the next, next, the new other map, I don't know. The second map in the rotation and we have now arrived at it. Um. Okay, interesting. So, I am gonna be the up close aggressive player, looks like. We definitely got a lot of long range fellas. Okay, let's get control of that. I, I'm always scared. Always scared. Always running for my life. Knock out again. Just what I like to see. Wow. That squeezer, that's what they're called, right? That was really, ah, um, okay, I, I guess I maintained. That's really not too bad. Anchovy Games again. Oh boy. Let's see, what's our, Ooh, it's a lot more shorter range. Ooh, it's a lot of short range people. We'll see how I can deal with that. Because you know me, I'm fantastic at dealing with short range people. Okay, let's get that sprinkler out there and try to take an early couple point lead. Okay, good, you managed to get him. Yeah, that's how you use the Barella shield. That's how you do it. Oh, I thought he had jumped off the ledge. Or she, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe I should not even assume their gender pronouns. Forgive me. Yikes. Okay. Um, there goes our lead. Let's just throw that out there and see if that does something. Okay. Going back to the thing of like, it takes a million shots to kill him. Wow. I mean, I get, I was not direct, <laughs> directly hitting, directly hitting them. But Okay. Dang it. 
Okay. Hmm, what is the plan here? I'll take the trade. I'll take the trade. Especially against the Splash Matic. Those things are a beast to fight against in close range. All right. Way to go, team. We're all dying. There we go. Okay, I think we might have a chance to take this back. Or not. Or maybe. Who knows? Okay, I got two of them. We got one guy left. Okay, we gotta jump in. Okay, this is when it counts. Oh, we're all jumped. They just both died. That's fine. But we got control, which is what matters. There we go. Got him. Wow, I'm actually kind of getting the hang of how to use the shield. And not gonna lie, feels pretty good. Okay, he outranges me. No, he was so close. <laughs> Yikes, then they have control. I did not realize that while I was dancing around with him. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. This is fine. Yeah, let's get this up. Okay, that's one. All right, pressure him. No, I'm not timing my shield with that. No, no, we're gonna lose. I, I'm, I'm feeling it, but I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Okay, good. Okay, I'm predicting. Heck yeah, that's that's how you tag team them. Good. Okay, he's weak, he's weak. No, get him, yes, yes, okay. All right, we just gotta hold it for a couple more seconds. Couple more seconds. All right, get in there, get in there. All right, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Okay, we're going into overtime. Yes, yes, he's down, he's down. Oh, here we go, we're taking this, we're taking this! Woo! Okay, that's what I... <laughs> that's what I like to see. Okay, I think I just destroyed the audio right there. Okay. Okay, all right, you can stop pounding. That was a good match. Oh, that was a good one. Wow. Wow. That was insane. Okay, wow. Woo! Yeah, fill that bar up. Let's go, let's go. All right, well, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll be seeing you back next time with some more Splatoon, probably, knowing me. And... And that's all I have to say. See ya!